Hey, have you ever rendered something in Daz Studio that's either too dark or too light? Well, don't worry about having to redo all those pictures. Just throw it into GIMP. Hey everyone, this is Not From This World and I want to say thank you for joining me on my tutorial series for Daz Studio. Now today is going to be pretty simple. I just want to show you my technique for editing a picture that I either rendered too dark or too light. And I'm currently making this comic that involves a dungeon and I had my render queue set up and I just rendered a bunch of pictures together. And it turns out that some of them didn't have the spotlights pointing at the characters and they're too dark. So normally I would go back and be like, man, I got to repose. I've got to set up some spotlights just to get a few pictures correct. But since this is going in a comic where this is just one or two pictures that just depict a scene that I will have very briefly, I thought let's just do a tutorial and show you how I would fix this in GIMP. It's super easy. So see, I've got this prisoner coming down these stairs and the picture is just too dark. So what I'm going to do is go to colors and the thing I prefer is exposure. There is uh, shadows and highlights and brightness and contrast. And I have used those some for certain types of renders. Like if it's a sci-fi render and it doesn't matter if it's the hue is off a little bit, I would go with brightness and contrast. But for something like too dark or too light, what I'm actually going to do is go to exposure. And with exposure, we're going to get this box here and we're going to have two sliders. One is black level and the other one is exposure. Now, if something is just too light or too dark, I'm going to just use this exposure. I'm going to click on it and see I can just brighten up the picture. I don't want to go too extreme because then we get some major issues but see i can really make this bright almost like we rendered with a spotlight pointing directly at our characters now once i'm at the level i like i just hit ok and i can save it the way i always save in daz studio is to export so i just do um shift control e that brings up this then i just hit enter for export enter for replace and then this tab comes up. I just hit enter again for export and it just exports this directly to where I had that picture saved and it replaces the picture. So here's another picture from that same series. If I go to colors, let's try brightness this time. So if I select the brightness tab, I'm going to have two sliders, ones for brightness, ones for contrast. So if I try and brighten it up, you can see I don't like this, of course, because it just hazes everything out. Looks like she's in a fog. So for GIMP, I wouldn't really try with the brightness. I don't know what the deal is with that. If we mess with brightness and contrast, we can get kind of a, a, a better image that's darker. So you can play with that. But I like this exposure. So we're going to just raise this exposure level up to the level that I want and then hit OK. I was rendering an entire comic and I rendered it all night long and I had a hundred pictures at least done and uh, they were all dark like this and I just as I added dialogue, I just went through and lightened them up with the exposure tab in GIMP and everything looks good. So there you have it. This is how I would lighten and darken everything. All right, now that about does it for this short Tuesday video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave some comments. How are you using GIMP? How do you do post work? I'm really interested to hear what you have to say about that. And I want to say thank you for all the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, 
please hit that subscribe button. You don't know how much that helps these small YouTube channels like me. Makes all the difference in the world. I want to say thank you and happy rendering. Happy rendering.